the Sportsman's Journal with Butch Fortman. Welcome to the show today. We're up at Lost Bay Resort again. Just every year, can't wait to get up here. Uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to go for multi-species again and see what we can do. Uh, my friend Tyler is with me again up here at Lost Bay and uh, we'll get head out about three, four miles and see what happens. Looking forward to it, Butch. All right. Thunderhook Lion Outpost and Smooth Rock Camp is located in the heart of Wabakimi's Wilderness Provincial Park. Larger than the Minnesota BWCA with 3.2 million acres and 15,000 lakes. Thunderhook has outpost camps on several different lakes with world-class fishing and hunting. Smooth Rock Camp is Wabakimi's finest fly-in resort on beautiful 24,000 acre Smooth Rock Lake. Its waters abounds with walleye, northern pike, and lake trout. For more information and a trip of a lifetime, go online to thunderhook.com. Spend more time on the water this boating season with an incredibly reliable Honda Outboard. Inspired by Honda's legendary automotive technology, Honda Outboards offer the kind of power, reliability, and fuel efficiency you'd expect from the world's largest engine manufacturer. Whether you're thinking about a new boat or just repowering, you owe it to yourself to look at Honda. See your local Honda Marine dealer or visit us online today. Honda Marine, the power of boating. Birch Forest Lodge Resort is located in northern Minnesota on beautiful 12,000 acre Pelican Lake. Fishing is great for families with excellent panfish action and the serious angler has trophy sized bass, walleye and northern. Birch Forest also has a great swimming beach and new marina dockage. Cabin selections can handle all size families and groups. For a great vacation call Birch Forest Lodge 218-757-3479 or go online, birchforestlodge.com. Perfect morning, huh? It is beautiful out. Well, Tyler, what we'll do is a uh, nice cabbage along this ridge here. And uh, as you know, on Cliff Lake, uh, they relate to the cabbage a lot. They do, especially when it starts to get warm out and that cabbage gets full grown, you bet. Yeah, we, you know, we got what uh, 30 feet back here, and that comes up to nine feet, ten yep. feet. But the minnows and that are in the in that cabbage. Yes, they are. Classic spot on these Beautiful. deep water lakes. Yep. Okay, let's get started. All right. Bunch right here on the weeds. Okay, Tyler. <clears throat> right on that minnow. Yep. This has been a good area for us yep. over the year. Oh, nice fish. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Here, hand me the you net bet. there. I'll help you out. Sure. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a good year class that we've been seeing here. Yeah, not a monster, but nope. look at the nice color. Yeah, that fish is gorgeous, huh? Kind of a greenish gold. Ooh, look at the fins. He's mad. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's uh, probably release most of them if we want to keep a few later on. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Way to go. There we go, Tyler. Oh, yeah. I just put a leech on. Switched over to a leech, and there he was. And rigging. Yep. Oh, that's another dandy bush. Oh, yeah. Good fish. There she is. Oh, yes. Well, here we are, you know, just a couple hours into the trip, and we're into the walleyes, and it's bright sunlight. Yep. Who says you can't catch them during the day? Exactly. <laughs> bright sunlight, dead calm. And they're still in here using the weeds. There you go. Yeah, beautiful. Just a little guy. This is the one that you'd want for supper. Yep, though. that's a good eater there. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty little guy. Yes, there's a good year class of those right now. So lots of, what's that, he about 17? Yeah, about yep. 17. That's what you're looking for for the dinner table there. Oh, isn't that the truth? Yeah. 
right there, Butch. Right on the edge of the cabbage, like we were talking about. Yeah, it's, that's the key today. Yeah, he feels good. You know, the thing about Cliff Lake, you know, we've had this on for several years, you know, fishing multi-species on this lake, but, you know, it, there's so much uh, structure, rock structure, you'd think they'd be on there. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, that's a dandy there. <clears throat> yeah, but, well. But, you know, the majority of the walleyes we catch are in the edge of the weeds. Yep, cabbage fish. Ooh, yeah, he's not quite ready yet. Okay. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, there is a nice specimen. Yeah. Let's see if we can get in there. Get mm. a hold of her. That's a dandy right there. Yeah, beautiful. I'll go this route here. That a boy. Whoops. Cold steel. They're strong. Yes, they are. Very strong. Beautiful fish. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Oh, That's a boy. dandy. Healthy fish. Probably about 23 inches. Yep. You know? That's about what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, they're in the cabbage. Well, well, I mean, that's where the bait fish, that's where all the all the forage is right now is hanging up in this cabbage. Yep, we're off to a good start, yeah, buddy. that's a dandy right there. I'm happy with that one. Yep. All right. Come. Whoa. <laughs> nice fish. Yeah, pretty good. Whoa. Oh. It might. Like you said, there's big smallmouth in here too, but it could be a big walleye. Yes, it could, hanging right off the. Oh yes. Right off the tip of those rocks. Oh boy, it's fun to be back on Cliff Lake again. What a beautiful lake. You know, I've been coming up here for what 30 years, and it never, never get tired of it. And you keep learning every time. Yes, you, come you do. Up. That's what makes Cliff pretty neat. Yeah. Ooh, you yeah. got a nice fish there, Butch. Yeah. Yeah, he took her nice. This actually, this is my uh, rigging rod. I, I uh, built this out of a fly rod blank and it really works nice. Oh, look at that one. Nice Ooh. walleye, Butch. Look yes. how pretty that thing is. Wow, here it is, high noon. Oh, yes. All right. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Dandy. Yep. So they're on rocks, they're on weeds. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Just a colored hook and a couple beads and bang. Pretty simple stuff there. Yeah, sometimes the simplest is the best. Yep. Got tap here, Butch. Okay. There, right off of that rock. All right. Just where you got yours, I believe. Yeah, we're right in that 15, 17 feet. Yep. Boy, oh boy. It pound. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right. Having a good morning. Yep. Butch, you got three on the leech, and I figured you know what you're doing, so I'm going to switch to a leech. <laughs> yeah. And it did not take long. Yeah, you got to sometimes switch. Yep. Minnows this morning. Yeah, minnows in the morning, leeches yeah, no. for lunch, I guess. Boy, this never gets old, does it? No. What do we got oh, down here? Look at that nice, guy. Nice fish. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Here he comes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice. Another nice gold. Wow. Oh, boy. That's a, <laughs> that's a keeper. That fish I right mean, there. I mean, a pitcher fish. Yeah, that fish is going 26, I think. Yeah. It's, what a dandy. Yeah, it's, a, it's beautiful. Wow. Yep, sure is. Cliff Lake walleye. Yes, sir. There we go, Tyler. Oh boy. Another strong fish. Another strong. You, you mentioned on the Helix hummingbird there that we hope that that's walleyes we're printing and I think that's what they are. Ooh, he's got a little weight to him too. Oh boy.
boy. Fun, fun, fun. Ooh. Good fighter. Yeah, we're gonna see how some, big this one is here. some weight to him. Mm -hmm. I think you got yourself a walleye there, Butch. I think so. There's no question. If that's a bass, that's a dandy. There he is, that's a walleye. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Nice one. Boy, they're strong in here, aren't they? Yep. Boy, do they fight. Clear, cool water, cliff. They got a lot of, a lot of energy. Yeah, and we, a, yeah, he's a nice fish. And we're gonna <clears throat> do some trout fishing today too, as we uh, see what happens here. And this afternoon, we can go after some. Oh, mm. boys, look at that! Oh, <laughs> beautiful! That's what we're talking about, right there. Yeah, look at that. Um, you know, I think this Cliff Lake. I've been fishing it, like I said, 30 years, and I think the walleye fishing is getting better and better every year. I will agree. We you got... know, not that we don't have a lot of muskie in here. Of yeah. course, we, we know it's a premier muskie lake, and it's a premier lake trout lake. So when you add walleyes like this, you can't beat it. No, not too much to complain about. No, that's for sure. Hooked them right yes, up. Yes, you did good there. Perfect. Uh, Textbook. There it is. Upper jaw there. Yeah. All right. Thanks, buddy. Oh, nice. Look at the colors. Down he goes. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> nice work. Your ain't All right. We'll bait up here again. I like to hook them right by the, the tail here. Like that, so they swim away from the hook. The narrow part of a leech is actually the head. And uh, when they're struggling out in the water, as you can see it, they're swimming like that. And that antagonizes them walleyes. Look at that. I, uh, eat, I might eat that butch. You know, that's why they're so good on slip bobbers, too. Because, you know, a slip bobber and a leech go hand in hand. Tyler has uh, yeah. This summer up here on on Cliff has it been a lot of rain? It has. June was way below average with temperatures. Lots of rain. Cool. I see the water's up quite a bit. Yep. So Same we, thing in Minnesota. We've had exactly. tons of rain. Ooh, that's a nice one, Butch. Okay. Yeah, we're just starting to get our little warm spell here finally. Yeah, you know that's what we need is some warm weather to get these fish going. Yep. And it's happening. It's definitely happening. We're getting that water temp into the. We're in the 70s right now. That's a dandy. He's not hooked good though. He's right on the tip of his snout there, on his beak. But isn't that an awesome sight right there? <clears throat> it's been a good morning. It's been it? a great morning. You can't ask for too much more than this. No. How about that? Oh yeah. Another beauty. Jeez. Yeah, I got him right where you want him. Yeah. And of course, those hooks didn't hurt the fish. No, nope. those hooks do their job. Here, I'm gonna try to get in there and pop that out of there. Yeah. Like that. Look at the girth on them. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, well what fed. A fish. Yeah, very healthy fish. That is so much fun. Oh that's boy. what Cliff Lake's all about. But you've been catching a lot of them out here. That's a good spawner there. Yeah, that's a good spawner. You got that right. All right. There is a place that exists where you can get away from everything. Hidden amongst 270 miles of unrivaled picturesque shoreline lies Cliff Lake Resorts. This 5,700 acre Canadian Shield Lake holds a multitude of species, including its best kept secret, the musky population. Or if smallmouth bass is your quarry, then look no further than the endless shoreline structure where smallies hide. With depths reaching 100 plus feet, untold numbers of lake trout and whitefish swim in Cliff's basins, along with trophy walleyes and northern pike. Cliff Lake Resorts is the only outfitter with three different levels of accommodations. Lost Bay is full service with modern cabins and upgraded boats. Or for shorter stays in a pet friendly atmosphere, try our Musky Bay Camp. Or if rustic is what you're looking for, then Cliff Lake Outpost will take you back to a simpler time. Find out more at clifflakeresorts.com and start your tradition today. 
Baitmate Fish Attractant offers a complete line of convenient dips and spray bottles for every species and for every season. When Baitmate is in your boat, you can expect more hook sets because fish love it. So always make sure you've got Baitmate. Here's a nice walleye right here. This is a really nice one. With an ultra concentrated formula geared towards multiple species, it's easy to see why Baitmate is the number one trusted brand. Stop dreaming and start planning. With world-class muskie, northern pike, walleye, smallmouth bass, and abundant panfish, Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge is your next Canadian adventure. Located on a secluded island in the heart of famous Lake of the Woods, you'll enjoy modern cabins, 24-7 power, and a full-service dock with a family-friendly environment. For more information on your next dream Canadian fishing trip, contact Todd at Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge. There we go, Tyler. Got him. We're out lake trout fishing now. We just finished up this morning Ooh. on the walleyes. And we're out here in about 70 feet of water jigging for trout. Boy, that vertical jigging for trout, which I've talked about before on the show. Ooh, oh, nice, nice. It's a white oh, fish. Oh, it's a white fish. That's what we want, too. Oh, it's a bonus fish. Yep. That's a decent one. Yeah, nice. Bonus fish. Beautiful. Got him right on that stinger, too, Butch. You know, for cut bait and for eating, these things are hard to beat. Yeah, they are good to eat. Cliff Lake's got a lot of them, too. Ooh, I got that hook right there. I gotta be careful. Yeah. You want pliers just to pop that out real quick? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is what the whitefish look like. This is about three, four pound whitefish. Delicious eating, you know, broiled whitefish, but you know, you can use the belly meat, uh, cut it up for lake trout. Oh yeah. It's excellent. Yep, they're a neat looking fish so too. It's, it's a bonus, boy. They are neat and they fight good. Yep. Yep. All right. Tyler, there, there's, you're right in them. There's a big trout right here. And uh, maybe come up a hair. Come up a hair, okay. Yeah, it's about three feet off the bottom. All right. Holy crap, did he hit it. Oh, power here. Yeah, that is a nice fish, Butch. Yeah, that's a dandy. And that is fun. We're over. using this uh, non-stretch line, you know. This is uh, suffix 832. And boy, you can feel them hit, can't you? Yep. That helps a big difference when you're down there 60, 70 feet. Yeah, and then you got the fluorocarbon leader, you know, that gamma. Ooh, boy, they're fun. This is great. What a lake. Trout, how many lakes have trout like this? Not many. <laughs> lake trout and big walleyes and muskies and smallies. I know it. Very you know, it's not an easy lake to fish, but it, it's, it's got them. So if you're patient. Yeah, the fish are there. The fish are there, you know. Kind of, you got to go finesse tactics a lot on cliff with. Yeah. Especially with the walleyes. Right. And once you kind of figure it out, look at that one, Butch. Ooh. I, he, look at, he got wrapped yeah, in the line. wrapped around there a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, he got wrapped in the line. Okay. Okay. All right. Get a good look at him here. Yep. I'll help you with oh. your line. Okay. There he is. Nice. Boy, they're pretty, huh? Aren't they pretty fish? You know, I call them salmon trout because their meat is just fluorescent red. Yes, it is. They're delicious. They are good. That's about a perfect size rare for the table right there. That's yeah. what, 21, uh, 22 incher? I think uh, Dale, he loves these trout. I'm gonna have one for him tonight. He'll appreciate that. Yep. There he is, Butch. All right, buddy. Yep. Another laker. Another laker. Or a whitefish. <laughs> what, uh, 72 feet here. 72 feet, yep. Yep. Get a good look at him here and see yeah, if see we can got. give me a hand here. Sure. There's the net. All right. Boy, I'll tell you, it's fun jigging these things. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there he is. Nice fish. Not a bad fish. No. Nice lake trout. Oh, that's a dandy. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, all right. Look at that one. Oh yeah, it's a beauty. Okay. That's a good one. Get a good look at him. Yeah. Got him right before that weather change, Butch, that yeah. storm's coming in. Nice salmon yeah. trout. Beautiful, neat. That is a dandy right there. That thing's beautiful. Okay, let's get it back yeah. in the water. All right. Boy, I'll tell you, they're, they're stubborn today, but we got that little bit of whitefish uh, flipper on the end there. Yeah, that's helping. Yeah, we caught that whitefish yesterday and we used uh, some cut bait. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, all right, beautiful fish. Oh, let's see. Nice work. Beautiful uh, native lake trout out of Cliff Lake. Just amazed uh, how this lake uh, produces year after year. Yeah. You know. It's got a good, healthy population. Right. Especially in that mid-20s range. Those are your good spawners. You know, and they've got regulations now to protect them somewhat too. Yep. And there it goes. You know, you can only have what? Two lake trout. Yep. Sportsman license, you can have two, one over 22 inches, one under, and then the conservation license is one of any size. So yeah, that helps. That helps keep the population pretty, pretty healthy and thriving. Exactly, and that's good. Yep. Good work. Good All work. Right. Nice, nice. You can see what I'm using here. It's uh, just a tube like I'd use for uh, bass, and uh, put a little cut meat on there and a trailer hook, and it's working good. Got another dandy walleye, I think, Butch. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, nice one. Yeah, fishing trout at noon and and uh, catching walleyes toward evening though. Oh, that's a dandy, yeah, right? A pretty one. Whoa. Thank you. Beautiful fish. He was, uh, they moved a little shallower with this cloud cover. He was at about right off the rock point there, like 12 foot. There we go. Got Perfect. Yeah, nice. Whoa, pretty color. Golden walleye. Yeah, he's a good looking fish. Yep. Look at that, came right out. Yeah, nice. Big spawner. Big spawner, that's get right. Her, we'll put her back. Get her back in there. Oh, I just put a smaller tube on and uh, it paid off. How's he feel, Butch? Good? Not bad, not bad. Well, we had that front go through and yeah. the wind come up, but the fish are starting to go. Oh, nice. Oh, I see oh yeah. down there. Yeah, he's a nice. It's a good one. Not, not big, but no. nice. Boy, he took that bait too, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, wow. <laughs> Gobbled that thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, not a big one, but a beautiful fish. And back in the water here. Oh, there he goes. Closed captioning brought to you by Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. Gamma, the highest quality fishing line in the industry. Birch Forest Lodge Resort is located in northern Minnesota on beautiful 12,000 acre Pelican Lake. Fishing is great for families with excellent panfish action and the serious angler has trophy sized bass, walleye and northern. Birch Forest also has a great swimming beach and new marina dockage. Cabin selections can handle all size families and groups. For a great vacation, call Birch Forest Lodge 218-757-3479 or go online birchforestlodge.com. Come visit Lost Bay Resort, one of Northwest Ontario's finest drive-to destinations just three hours north of the Minnesota border. Enjoy modern cabins with the comforts you're used to or upgrade to our executive timber frame home for a fishing vacation you won't soon forget. Cliff Lake provides a diverse fishery with unlimited angling opportunities. Start your tradition today. 
and find out more at clifflakeresorts.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We sure had a lot of fun up at Cliff Lake here. Uh, like I mentioned, Lost Bay Resort, great facilities, excellent cabins. And uh, Lance has done just a tremendous job. He's got the outpost camp over at Wild Eyes, and he's got that all fixed up. So uh, everything's looking good up at Cliff Lake here. Also, I'd like to thank my uh, f fishing partner, Tyler Trampy, on today's show. Uh, he loves to go fishing when he has a chance. And uh, as you can see, we caught some beautiful walleyes and some nice trout. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. For a great vacation, contact Lost Bay Resort, toll free at 1-888-884-8870 or go online, canadahuntingfishing.com. I would like to give promotional considerations and special thanks to these fine sponsors. Check out my website, butchfurtman.com. Thanks for watching Sportsman's Journal. Tune in next week for more outdoor action.